So, opener, for okay. those of you who do not know, we are going to start with the who, what, when, where, and why that came up because a couple of us. Thank you very much, Mac. Mac, may I have the floor, please? May I have the floor? May I talk? It's my turn to talk? Yes. Okay, cool. So what we were thinking was who, you know, young adults of Carver, ages 18 to 30, don't really want to put an age limit on it, but just to give people an idea, we wanted to say 18 to 30. The what is to create a space for fellowship. We feel like there's not a space for fellowship for, for people and their young ones to come to church. Um, so we're just trying to figure out, you know, what that would look like, what would make us feel more comfortable coming here to church. So we thought maybe... Um, like a Tuesday, Wednesday, or Thursday night event. So what we were doing was we were like having conversations about, you know, what days would be good for us to come and meet and to do a couple of things um, with our children or to have a young people's thing so that there are children activities being done during the week for them to try to get some more memberships into the church. I wanted to talk about a schedule of things that we were going to be doing, schedule of like, okay, I was thinking an hour and a half, a schedule as far as do people, does an hour work, do we need to start 30 minutes later, 30 minutes earlier, what do we need to do so people can get home in a decent time on um, whatever evening we do. Um, we were trying to say, you know, where that would be here in this room right here, in our fellowship hall. Um, we were saying keep that door locked. I don't know what the rules are, but we were thinking that, um, I saw how it happened today, one of the doors was open right over there. We were even saying if we didn't want people to come in through the church, we could open up these doors right here, um, or one of those doors, and that way we don't have a whole lot of traffic coming in through the other doors. But that was just um, a suggestion for um, how to keep this area um, open for us to be able to use. Um, all right, so on the schedule, it said light hors d'oeuvres. I'd like to do something next time, but I didn't have time to do anything this week, nor did I know who was going to be coming. So, um, But I would like to have some type of light hors d'oeuvres because I understand it's late in the evening. Um, so for most people, after 6 o'clock or planning on like preparing dinner so even if we can't give dinner I'd like to give something or have ideas about you know how can we bring something so that all of the young people that we have when we start getting them aren't hungry while we're here or us are hungry that's a great suggestion I don't know I don't know how to yeah I, I would think that we'd start doing that kind of thing more of a potluck thing just bring something for you another person to to eat or whatever like that, yeah, or just something, or I'm not exactly sure. That's what I wanted to get. I wanted to get suggestions on stuff like that because I also understand it's Wednesday, so if if people know that it, they're having it, I've, I've been involved in potlucks at church and whatnot. So you cook the thing the night before and then bring it to church. I mean, bring it to work or whatever because you know you're gonna have a potluck at work. But I don't know how people feel about doing stuff like that. I never used to want to do participate in those types of things when I was at work. But this doesn't work necessarily, so I wouldn't mind doing something like that until maybe, yeah, we can um, uh, start getting a, mo a couple of different things, donations and maybe a little help from the church and maybe even getting Papa Graves to come in here and maybe cater a meal, maybe not all the time, but a meal, just as like a one of those activities to get people to come in. 